What up guys, my in here with another video. This is gonna be a quick video on how to like set up your uh, DigiTag with Logic uh, without using Overbridge. And then how you're able to like take advantage of, you know, all the eight MIDI tracks with the DigiTag in Logic. You are going to be using Overbridge in the DigiTag, but not in Logic, right? So keep that in mind. That one has to be turned on. Uh, over bridge. Then we're going to go over here and audio routing. We want to make sure that we turn all of these suckers off. Uh, we leave this two on filter and amp because all the sounds and like delays and reverbs are going to be thrown, going through there to logic. The other thing that you want to do, right, is uh, use USB to main. You want to make sure that you bump up the volume there because if not, it's going to like the signal that's going to be coming through the main. So it's going to be a little bit weak. We're going to be using the dig attack as well as our only uh, MIDI interface. I wanna make sure that everything is coming through the interface. So the first thing that I'm gonna do over here, preferences, audio, I am going to go over here and pick dig attack as my main source, right? Because that's gonna be my audio interface. So after everything is done, right? Uh, here, picking your dig attack as your MIDI interface. The one thing that we're gonna go and do is over here we're gonna start at number three that's gonna be our kick right so now if i hit the kick and turn on monitoring if, as you guys are gonna see that's gonna be coming through right but none of the other tracks except this one that has a little bit of delay going through the amp and filter is gonna be the one sounding right so we're gonna call this one kick and then the other thing that I am going to add is going to be, you know, from waves, you can have the, the channel NLS helping you with volume, right? Because that's going to be something that the floor is going to be a little bit lower. You know, if you don't have this plugin, you can use this one from Logic that is called Gain. And I'm going to turn this one. Same idea, right? You can like gain up the volume. So let's go over to 12 Bs. You know, it's going minus 10 without the plugin is going minus 22, right? I kind of like, like using, um, you know, the NLS just because it gives it that like extra dirt analog feel. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to generate the same idea for all the eight different sounds that we have here, right? So it's going to take a little while. So we're going to go with clap and then over here, we're going to go with number four, which is going to be clap, right? It's going to be my ambient sound. So as you guys can see, everything is coming through logic, right? And then the other thing that we want to do, let me go over here. Let me show you guys kind of like my main pattern that I've created. And then you guys can hear. So that was like the first groove that I generated, uh, you know, just using the dig attack is all coming through logic, right? So I was like, okay, this machine is not particularly amazing when it comes to like synth sounds, right? But you can actually like uh, manage eight MIDI sounds or eight MIDI tracks in Logic or Ableton or whatever you guys are using. So we're gonna go over here and let me pull Alchemy and I am going to go over here and generate this sound. So once you're here, ready to go, uh, you're gonna go over here in the MIDI track in Logic. You're gonna change this to channel one and then source is gonna be channel one. So you can always move this around, right? And to activate it or deactivate, you get press function and then you click on this track and then you pick the, the channel that you want. For this track, we are going with channel one and then you can go over here and uh, you know do the chromatic and start play. And start playing like the different sounds right so right over here i am gonna go with uh you know like a bass let's go with electro okay that sounds good so let's generate this pattern right right here we can do whatever you guys want you can actually record it in so let's record that in with the groove of the track right <laughs> So that doesn't get boring. That's when you start playing around, right? With like uh, probability or conditions. So let's say we want that playing, you know, like every 59% of the time that we're gonna click on this one, right? And then we're gonna play this one with actually this one right here. And it's going to be 41 uh, percent of the time and it's gonna be changing, right? So like now if I hit play, so 
So then you can start uh, generating the groove. Now let's say we wanna add some pads, right? Uh, we're gonna go over here and I've been playing with this synth lately and it's pretty cool. Uh, it's from GeForce OBE and it's amazing. Like the sounds that you can get through this thing, it's just quality sounds. So you have the flexibility of using this machine to generate your grooves, but also to control your like soft synths, which is pretty amazing. So let's go over here, denial patch, right? I have this one in my head, it just sounds really good. So the only thing that you have to make sure is that the R's are turned on for both tracks. And then at that point, you know, we can, we can get going. So, so let's play it all from the get go. So now it's time to hit record, right? So there's two options, right? You can sync it with Logic by going here, preferences, MIDI, and then we're gonna go over here and sync. And then you guys can pick, you know, like uh, the Digitech uh, and to send clock to it. So like whenever you guys hit record, like I'm going to do now, it's gonna start triggering the Digitech directly. <laughs> So then you have your take right there. As you guys can see, the signal is a little weak, but that's why we added this to like bump up the sound, right? So like, let me uh, turn off this MIDI tracking or MIDI clock. So you guys can hear what we just recorded in the dick attack. <laughs> So it's really important to make sure that we click all the R's because if not, it's not gonna record like in this situation, right? So the other thing that you guys can do, right? You know what? I'm just gonna jam, you know, we're gonna hit record on Logic. That's not gonna record until we're not ready to start recording something. So let me show you guys just a little bit. So let's say, right, let's go to pattern one. This is how we're starting our jam, right? And as you guys can see, Logic recorded my live session right there without it being in sync with Logic's clock. All right, guys, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys who are working with Logic. Um, if uh, you like this video, please hit the bell, click subscribe so you can get more videos from me. This is a lovely machine and with Logic, they work really well together. All right, guys, have a good rest of your week. Enjoy your time, relax and peace.